Hi guys and welcome to another video. Today is going to be an empties video. I've not done an empties video in ages but I've got lots of products because of that. Um, so yeah, I'll just get started because there's lots to get through. I'm not going to do like an in-depth review of each product. Um, some of them I've like reviewed on my blog so I'll, I'll link any reviews I've done in the description box below. But yeah, I'm just going to charge ahead and get through it because there is a lot of products I've been using up. Okay, so first up, I'm going to start with this. And these are in no order. It's literally just as I'm taking it out of the bag. Um, yes, so French Connection Body Butter. I have never been a fan of like French Connection cosmetics. It smells nice enough, but like I don't like perfumey smells, if that makes sense. Like I like perfume obviously, but not like in body butters and stuff. Like I hate when you get like a perfume gift set and like you get given like a shower gel and a, a body lotion because I don't know, it, it's like, it's not like good quality. It just smells of the perfume and I don't know. I just don't like it. So this is like quite similar. I mean, like although the consistency, because this was a body butter, it was very thick. Um, and it went on my skin nice. I just don't particularly like the smell. Um, yeah, so like, I think I got given this as a gift anyway, so. But yeah, I wouldn't like buy French Connection body stuff ever again. Not that I did that time, but I just would never buy it. Um, now, I've got some coconut oil, and I love this stuff, like seriously. It is so cheap. I just got this one from Superdrug, Superdrug's own make. Um, and it's it comes hard, so it's like an actual like hard oil, if that's what you call it. Obviously there's none really left in it, so you can't see. But um, yeah, it literally, it, it must like get hardened. Oh yeah, it'll get it like... <laughs> When it comes out of a coconut, I think it's like oil and then it'll harden. Um, but when it like when you massage it like between your hands, it goes back into an oil. So like it's kind of annoying because you've got to like warm it up in your hands to be able to use it, but it is so good and it can be used for so many different things. I use it in my hair as I'm like an overnight mask. I'll like put it in the ends of my hair and then tie it up and um put like a shower cap over my hair and, and like just sleep like that. Um, like for an overnight hair mask and then like I'll use it for moisturizing moisturizing my feet especially because like I'm doing like a pedicure or whatever you know you want something really moisturizing like I never use a normal moisturizer on my feet because because it's like your skin's harder you need like a more moistured moisturizer um, so yeah the coconut oil is great for hair and skin and it's so so cheap and moving on to Herbal Essences Be Strong Strengthening Intensive Mask. And yeah, I really like using this. I love Herbal Essences. Like, seriously, they are like the cheapest, like they're the best, cheapest hair care brand for sure. Like they they just bring it when it comes to hair stuff. Um, I love all their conditioners, all their shampoos. Um, and this is like a... This is their, from the, obviously from their Honey range, which Nicole Scherzinger was actually the face of. Um, she has amazing hair. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I love Herbal Essences. I, I would definitely repurchase that again. It just makes your hair so soft and yeah, it's great. Um, then I've got Tresemme Keratin Smooth Controls, Keratin Restoring Shampoo. Yeah. Um, I actually still have the mask of this, but I finished the shampoo. Um, and yeah, I, I would probably buy it again, or I don't know. Like with shampoo, I never really notice a huge difference with shampoo because obviously like, I think it's the conditioner that's gonna like, you know, strengthen your hair and, um, you know, moisturize your hair kind of thing. Like the shampoo is really just for cleaning your hair. So I'm never bothered about what shampoo I'm using really. I got the keratin one because I'm, I get frizzy hair. So keratin is obviously gonna smooth your hair out. And really anything with keratin in it is just great for your hair because keratin is what is in your nails and hair. So it's gonna strengthen your hair and just make it a lot 
smoother and healthier. So if I can, I always try and buy a shampoo with keratin in it. So that's what drew me to that one. Um, now this one isn't actually finished. It's like almost finished. I have like one last use of it. And it is the Professional Hair Care Oreo de Argan <laughs> Anti-Frizz Mask by Phyto Relax Laboratories. This is from TK Maxx basically. <laughs> and you always get the strangest brand in TK Maxx. But I really enjoyed using this. I love argan oil. Anything with argan oil on it, I'm like, I need that. Um, because it's just so nourishing for your hair. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed using it. I used it in my hair today. Um, and as I say, I've got like one more use of it, but I just thought I'd include it in this video because it's almost finished. Um, and yeah, I would probably repurchase it. Um, it smells really nice. It's actually, it's really, it's not a thick conditioner at all. It's quite, um, not watery, but it's a lot more of a watery consistency, if you know what I mean. It's not like a, a thick conditioner. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite like thin um, in consistency, which I actually like put me off it, but it doesn't, it, like it does work well in my hair. My hair always feels conditioned when I use it. So yeah, I really like that one. Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Moisturising Body Oil. And it is mega oily on the outside right now. Um, so I love this basically. <laughs> I love any kind of oils. It's one of those things, like I've actually just ordered one from the body shop. Um, one of their beautifying oils. I, do, I, cause I don't really mind where I buy, buy my oil from. I like Palmer's because I like the kind of cocoa scent, obviously, because that's what they're known for. Um, this one can, you can be used in the shower and bath. Um, so yeah, I used it. It can be used like out of the bath as a moisturiser well, but I already had an oil for moisturising when I came out of the shower. So I did use this in the shower. After I've like done all my hair stuff, like, you know, while my conditioner was in my hair, um, I would just, um, yeah, like, moisturise this into my skin in the shower, and then I wouldn't, like, necessarily wash it off, I would just, um, let the, like, the water, you know, go over it or whatever, so when I came out of the shower, I was already moisturised, so it's quite good if you're one of those people that can't be bothered moisturising after the shower, um, I usually still moisturise because I'm obsessed with moisturiser, but, um, yeah, so if you can't board moisturising, have a, an oil in the shower and you'll already be moisturised. And that one's mega cheap, but it can be bought on like, you know, Boots or Superdrug. Gold Shimmer Treatment by BC Bonicure Hair Therapy Oil Miracle. Blumenek, these names are not short. It's, it is by Schwarzkopf though. Um, so yeah, it's like a, you should honestly have seen this up. It looked like what you know, Princess Kate would put in her hair. It was like gold shimmery conditioner. It was like so cool looking and it smelled really good as well. And yeah, it was, it wasn't like, I probably wouldn't repurchase it because it wasn't like amazing. And I think it was about 12 pounds for this little pot. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it did its job. Um, I feel my hair was conditioned, but it wasn't like, I wasn't blown away in any way by it. So probably wouldn't repurchase that one. Um, another herbal um, essence is one, and this one is the Smooth and Soft Conditioner with Mandarin and Pearl Extracts. And this is part of their 40 years one. I like the purple one better. They've got a couple of conditioners out for their 40th birthday. I don't know if they're still available, but I love the purple version. Um, this one was, uh, was, good, was good as well, but I just prefer the purple version. Um, so yeah, I would definitely repurchase the purple one, and if they didn't have the purple one, I would repurchase this one, because I just love purple essences. Um, there is a lot of hair care, by the way. <laughs> and next up, I have my L'Oreal Hair Expertise Ever Riche um, Conditioner. And I love this. This was like going crazy in the beauty world, and like YouTube, and blogs. And um, they're all going crazy for this shampoo and conditioner. And I still, I bought like another version of it. I bought the pure one and the Ever Sleek one, which I'm using just now. Um, and I really, really like it. I would definitely repurchase. As I say, I've repurchased a couple of other like ones from the range to try them. Um, but I would I would repurchase the Ever Riche one as well. Um, yeah, for sure. I love that one. And I have done a blog post on this one, so I will link that below. This one is the Umberto Gianni Glam Hair Morning After Dry Shampoo. And I've already repurchased this. 
and it has like two lids, totally funky. <laughs> I'm easily amused. But yeah, I like this one. That's why I obviously repurchased it. Um, I don't like like Batista and a few of the other ones, but I do like this one. It leaves your hair only very really slightly grey at the top, so you just have to rub it in. But it's new, nowhere near as bad as Batista because that stuff just like gave you granny hair. Um, yes. Yeah, so and I love the smell of this. The smell is just so so nice, and it really gives my hair that bit of volume. Even if it's like not the day after, if it's just the day I've washed my hair, I sometimes put a bit of it in just to give it that oomph. Um, so yeah, I really really like this one. Now I've got a Sanctuary Spa 2 Day Moisture Shower Oil and I was really intrigued by this one because obviously I'm obsessed with moisturiser and I love oil as I showed you with the one earlier but um, this was, was still a shower gel so you could wash with this but it was also you know acting as an oil as well. I liked it as a, as a shower gel you know what I mean it, it gave like a kind of a very soapy lather or whatever but it wasn't overly, it didn't leave my skin that oily or that soft. It says, um, with gold of pleasure oil, skin is instantly hydrated and retains moisture for up to two days. No, it does not do that. So I don't think I would repurchase that one. I think I'm going to stick to my Sanex. Um, I, oh, I go through these like all the time. I always repurchase them. It's usually the 0% one that I buy because it has literally nothing like bad in it at all. Um, no scents, no colorants, no, I'm not gonna list all these names because I don't even know how to pronounce them, but it has 0% of all the bad stuff. And um, yeah, I always, always repurchase this one. Um, I've got a Bourjois Magic Nail Polish Remover, one second per nail. Um, I love this. Again, I repurchase it all the time. Um, I still do buy the pads, the nail polish and pads for my toenails, but I always use this for my fingernails. Um, it says one second. I would probably say it takes about three seconds, but like, you know, <laughs> that's been a little bit exact, but it doesn't really take one second. It does take a little while. And like the more you use it, the longer it does take. So um, yeah, you do have to like renew it you know what I mean you can't just keep on using the same one because it does lose its um, effectiveness or whatever and um, so yes I've already repurchased that one quite a few times now I've got a few body butters I know I had the one at the start the French Connection one and um, but I've got more as well start off with the coconut one which is Derma V10 and um, coconut body body butter I think this one was from like super drug or something it was like mega cheap um, but yeah, it was fine. I don't really actually like coconut scented stuff, especially in body butters, because I always find like a couple hours later, you smell of like cooked coconut. I don't know. Like I like the smell of coconut, like, you know, when it's fresh or whatever, but I think when it's in, when it's in stuff and then a couple hours later, I don't know, you just smell like, you know how like fake tan turns into like a kind of horrible cooked biscuity smell. It's kind of like this, not the same smell, but it kind of turns into like a, a not so nice smell. I find with coconut, but I know loads of people like it. Um, then I've got my favourite scent from the body shop. I always, whenever I go to the body shop, get a blueberry body butter. Um, I just love their body butters. And I love the blueberry one. I love eating blueberries and I, they're so good for you and like anything blueberry flavoured, if it's food, sweeties, if it's um, Anything to do with like skincare, I always get the blueberry flavoured of anything. I just love blueberries and I'm totally obsessed. And purple is my favourite colour. So it's just like an all round great thing. <laughs> now this one I actually love and like, because I didn't like the coconut one because of the smell it turns into, I thought I wouldn't like this but I actually do. And it is the Nip and Fab Pistachio Sunday Dry Skin Fix Body Butter. And I got this in a glossy box. And oh my god. It proper smells of pistachio, so if you don't like the smell of like nuts and pistachio, it's like very sweet nuts. Um, then you probably won't like this, but it's so much fun. It's, it comes out, I know it's like it's finished now, but it was proper green. So it's just a bit of fun, like you're rubbing really, really green, like as green as you can get um, cream into your skin. It's just, it's, I just love it. I would definitely repurchase this and also give it as a present because I just, I really, really like it. 
and the smell is just great. It's like so strong. Um, so yeah, you might not like that, but I do. I've got a little mini Listerine mouthwash. I was away in London and then when I was away in Glasgow, um, and then when I was away seeing family, <laughs> this did me three trips. So yeah, very good, it lasted me a while. And it just saved you having to carry a huge bottle. So yeah, I love little miniatures. Um, I've got a Nivea Daily Essentials Oil Free Moisturising Day Cream. And this is for oily and combination skin. And this took me literally forever to use up. I first bought this back in the day when I wasn't into skincare. And I was just like, yeah, I need a day cream. So I literally picked up it because it says day cream on it. If you can see. Um, I was just like, yeah, I'll have that one. It says day cream on it. That'll be fine. And it's like, it's fine. But it's not like amazing. And I'm obviously really into skincare and beauty now. So I always try and buy like, you know, the best one within my budget, obviously. So this was like, I just like, oh my God, I just need to use this up because it's not special enough. But it just took so long to use up. I literally had it for like a year. So I was like, yes, when I finished it. And now I'm using like a brand new one that I love. So happy about that. Um, uh, this one is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for Lids, Lashes and Lips. And I absolutely love this. I would definitely repurchase this. Um, I haven't repurchased it yet. I actually bought the L'Oreal one and it's nowhere near as good. It still takes your makeup off, but you you know, you know wake up with a bit of black under your eye, which I hate. When the first time I used this, it was the first time I actually ever used an eye makeup remover. And I was like amazed. I looked so ugly, but that actually was a good thing because it was like, it obviously showed me that all my mascara was off and all my eye makeup was completely off. Um, it was £17, but I really do recommend it. If you're someone who really struggles with finding a, make a good makeup remover and really wants a good makeup remover, and you know, it is worth it because your eyes are very sensitive and very like, they're the thinnest, like, skin on your face is around your eye area so you really need to look after that and you know night after night of sleeping in your makeup even if it's just a little bit left on it's not going to be great for your skin so I really really highly recommend this even if like you save up your boots points to get it that's what I'll do sometimes I'll save up my boots points and this is the thing that I would buy um because I just I totally recommend it um yeah, I will definitely repurchase this at some point. And I love the packaging, even though it's not really that important. I just like how it's kind of see through purple. <laughs> so I've got an eye cream here by Clinique, and I got this in their bonus package. Um, so it was just a kind of like a small version. It wasn't the full size. It was only 7 ml, but it actually lasted me so long. Because, I mean, eye cream, you need the tiniest of bit, like, you know, to cover your eyes. So you can see it's really small. But, um... Yeah, it was their Clinique All About Eyes, reduces circles, puffs, and puffs. So yeah, it, it like it, 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 it didn't really do that for me though. It was I like the consistency of this one. It's like a kind of a jelly cream, so it's very kind of cold and soothing on your eye. I didn't personally notice that it reduced circles in the puffs because I have quite puffy eyes, um, and I do get circles. So I'm always looking out for a cream that's actually reducing that. So I like the I liked using it, but it didn't really changed my eye appearance. Now, last but not least, um, I have the three step, oh, this one goes in the middle, the three step Clinique skincare system. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about this. I bought, obviously you can see these are only the mini version and they're meant to last um, two weeks, I think. Um, but they lasted so much longer for me. I only used it in the morning, uh, sorry, at night. And it did say use morning and night, so I suppose it, it should have lasted me a, a month, but it lasted me like two months. And it was £20 for the set, which I thought was a really good price. Um, and I am the number three because I have oily combination skin. But yes, I really enjoyed using it. If I was buying this again, I would probably not buy the face wash because I mean, I did love it, but it wasn't like amazing. And I often find like, just now I'm using a soap and glory one that's fine. So I probably wouldn't buy the Clinique one because it is quite expensive for a face wash and it wasn't like spectacular. Um, and then I wouldn't probably buy the, well actually I don't know because I say it's the Dramatically Different Moisturising Gel which they're really famous for. Um, it does a, it's either a lotion or a gel it comes in. For my, for number three it comes in a lotion sorry, a gel. It comes in a lotion for one and two if you have dry to normal skin. Um, but anything for three and four, it comes in a gel because gels are just better for a slightly oily skin. Um, and I did like it. I woke up with like not 
like you know much less oily skin <laughs> if that makes sense um, and yeah I did like it it wasn't overly moisturizing but that's because it's a gel and it's not supposed to be like a you know a totally in you know, deep moisturizer um, so yeah I probably actually I would buy this again because I did I, I did like it and it did do what it was supposed to um, and you know you can use your intensive masks and things you know every so often if you feel like using that every night is too much but what I did really like was this um, it was the clarifying lotion, so that's step number two, and it just was really, really cleansing on the skin. It does contain alcohol, which everyone is terrified of, but it's alcohol that's for your skin. Okay, I'm not going to go into the debt and you know the ingredients and how it all comes together, but like you know, Clinique are one of the you know most what's the word advanced in skincare brands so they're not going to give you something that is bad for your skin um i think people just freak out when it's alcohol you know but they actually do do an alcohol free version as well so because i was looking at that but i spoke to the lady about it and she said that would be more for older skin which is much more sensitive that you would use that on for skin like my age if you're wanting that deep cleaning you really do need to be using the one with the alcohol in it and you know, um, it really, really did help my skin. It reduced, um, like it reduced the pores. It made it seem, um, you know, a much more even skin tone, and it kept the spots at bay. I didn't really have any bad like skin when I when I was using this three set. Um, so if I was gonna purchase any of them again, I probably would purchase this one. Um, and maybe the moisturiser but I would definitely definitely buy the mini set first because they're so good they last so much longer than what they say on the packet and it's £20 and you get the three of them and it lasted me about two and a half months so yeah I would definitely definitely go in and chat they'll um, they'll tell you which one you should be buying and yeah just give it a go and if you want more of an in-depth review on this then I will leave the link for my review in the description box below so yes, that is everything. Um, a lot there. I hope you enjoyed that video. I love empties videos, seeing what people are using up. And also it's a good chance to like say whether you would repurchase it or not. Um, it gives a kind of good indication if you're you know looking for a review of a product or whatever. So um, yes, that was that one. And I'll be saving up all my other empty products that I'm using to do another one. But hopefully that'll be in a, a few months yet because I've you know got a whole load of my products out and I'm kind of on to all like new products and things which I love doing Um, I love doing that like, binning all these ones and, and starting new and finding lots of new things that I like so yes if you like this video please give it a thumbs up um, and leave a comment below if there was anything that you've used that I featured in this video and if you liked it or didn't like it um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel, Glad Dogs and Name Tags, for more videos. It's coming up to Christmas time. I'm so, so excited. It's my favourite time of the year. Um, and yeah, um, there's going to like kind of be a kind of festive video that I'm going to try and do. Obviously, like, you know, festive for the time of the year. Um, and yeah, so have a look out for that. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but there's definitely going to be a Christmas themed video at some point in December. So yes, but I'll, I will see you before then and have a nice day, whatever you're doing, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!